And I made it. Never mind. And I'm back. What I grab? I think it was health. Probably have to go upstairs to start the mission. place you got here oh yeah it's easy to mock isn't it huh cheap and fucking easy <laughs> but uh this this here is my place and my work paid for my place all right relax i was just being sarcastic yeah well don't be all right because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm it's the blight of the age yeah i get the point you you don't get the point you're like every other asshole you made a bit of money and you became a turd yeah news for you i was always a turd no you weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. Yeah. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Still have this. When is Jimmy gonna drop off my real car? What would you do when you? Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh. This hayseed bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local? Shit. 
law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, don't be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bakers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up, but I'm very, very angry. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm -hmm. oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> hey. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score's gonna pay. I mean, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. 
focus on the alarm. That thing? This? Get back in the car! Coming! Shit, 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 shit. And you know, I wonder how many people in real life try to replicate bank robberies that's in Grand Theft Auto V. Because it's very detailed in this game how they plan it out. They've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one. Hey! Now it's gonna run. Oh, I like that song. Too bad I can't listen to music. It looks copyrighted. You know, now thinking about it, there is probably a lot of people that's replicated things in video games because they're they're not right in the head, you know? It's like Grand Theft Auto V when they plan out heist. One person, statistically speaking, there's at least one person that's tried it. And then immediately failed because, you know, this is a video game. It's supposed to go our way. I would love a Grand Theft Auto game where you could make choices in the story mode and it would matter and it would change throughout the whole story mode. Like in Grand Theft Auto 6, you plan a heist and it goes wrong, even though it's supposed to go right. If it goes wrong, you don't fail. I mean, you do fail, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to restart the mission. It just means that the story will going a different route. You know what I mean? I want that kind of Grand Theft Auto game. Because they've pretty much done it all now. They they did everything good. Now all they need to do left is a really good story driven game where choices matter. I heard the next game was supposed to have female protagonists and that's cool. That's something new for Grand Theft Auto because I don't think they've ever done that before. Not that I can remember, there's probably no female playable characters. Well, I mean, I remember in San Andreas, when you play two players, the second player can play as a female NPC, but I don't think that counts, because that's not really part of the story. That's just an NPC being playable.
Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. So only one person? Ah, think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. You know, since there's only one person, I don't mind getting someone that will get a big cut. I'll probably go with Chef, since I've already met him as Trevor. He seems like a cool guy. Let's go with him. This really the guy you want? Yeah, why not? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel. Thanks. Well, that's Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Just let it all out. Plato score setup. Nice, we're setting up another heist. Only have 387. Yeah, not a lot of money. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Pick up Michael. Is that the next mission? I don't see anything else for Trevor. Oh wait, it's right here. I was gonna switch to Franklin, but since there's another mission for Trevor, might as well. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, hi. 
Oh, where the fuck did you come from? You scared the shit out of me. This is the real America. So where did that Trevor icon go? It was on the map. And it disappeared after I changed my clothes. Oh, okay, there we go. It popped right back up when I went away. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want to sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. <laughs> oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> Wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck oh. you. Uh. So where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life, and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? Right? I might die. I hope you're happy. All right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. I'll be back, Miss Madrazo, don't worry. Go to Franklin's location. Where is he? Oh, I want to take a taxi. I don't want to drive all that. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Oh, thank God, switching. Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck them up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH. 
north of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Come company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Elk in the road! Shit, shit, shit! He yours, chop. Let's do this shit. Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Yeah, we're switching back. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy... Oh, no. Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. What the fuck was that? Unless Boots have started walking on two legs, you want to show mercy to the last of these innocents? I got him. Higher ground, Mikey. You find them on the hill. Scan right. I think I see someone. Moving target brought down. There's the new goal. Oh, child. that's Franklin. Left? Something's coming! Watch out! 
Oh shit. It's on you, homie. You know what Hicks smell like. Where did that rocket come from? Did he have the rocket launcher or something? Track him down, Frank. We're about to get shot out of the sky here. We gonna handle this. If you swimming, I am too. Fuck. Man, this water's fucking cold. Can Chop swim? Come on. Track them down. Track them down for daddy. Yo, I'm not gonna say that anymore. Come on, Chop. You can get him. Come on, Chop. My brothers! You killed all of them! Last guy's done, homie. All right! Stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. I just bitch left him. Some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. A convoy is delivering military equipment at HS. Let's go get that. Is it nearby? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I'll go get it. Entirely your 
hardware must not be destroyed. Oh, it's being protected. Well then. I wonder how hard it is to actually steal a convoy like this in real life. Cause some military, like what, what if there was like an actual military escort like this, where it was just two trucks and then convoy like in the middle of it, the, the thing you want to steal. Well, can it be that simple? Just shoot the guys that are protecting this and you can just take it? If there's no one around and you can just take it, will they know that you did it? Would it be that easy to get away? I don't think so. Cause in real life, a convoy would probably be a lot more than just two trucks. One in the front, one in the back. I've In real life, I've actually seen when they move tanks, there's a whole bunch of them. Just all over the place. Bro, we got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Oh, and I'm right here. All right, let's get this going. It's it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's she's a sixty-year-old housewife. Ah, she's fifty-seven, and she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Thirty years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey, what? Enough. You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay. We're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape. They rendezvous with you, 
when you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Come on, we got a score to take. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Ah, uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them! I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was, uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. Stood the reason he had funds. Next thing, we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them, anyhow. 50K. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, and walked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, homie. Money was useless then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! Man, you know what? I need to go to the bathroom too. Oh shit. Alright, we all good? Let's hit him! Let's fucking go! If we're gonna hit it, let's hit it! Remember guys, no Russians. This won't take a minute! Get down on the floor! Today's going one of two ways, friends! Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! Em, keep an eye on our trusted employee! Okay! You got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. Doors ready to pop. Come kick it in. Down. Em. Down. Uh, 
ever meet this alarm guy, fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move in! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. Sweet. Oh shit. is here, real and emotional. I shouldn't have smoked that bowl before we came. Maybe I should have. I'm wired, man. Give yourself up. Hey, Frank, we need another escape route. Can you find a vehicle? Something that might stand up to gunfire. There's some construction around the west. Time to go. Come on. Poor cop. Too bad. to get away I'm on my way all right this is it man you okay? I'm, 
I'm slowly on my way. Oh, shit. How many dudes they got in this private army? Fuck off already! Oh my god, they're all in the way. The bank robbers in the other direction. I almost here. You hear that gun fire? That's how I'm doing. There's a tank. Oh my god. It's right there. It's right there. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hey man, these guys are every fucking weird. Hey, I'm here. It's getting hairy over here. It's hairy over here too, man. There's a ride. Good get. Go, 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 go. There's another tank coming from the right. Hey, quite a disturbance you causing. Ah, oh, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on. That tank don't look too friendly. I'm reloading. Now, let's go inside, regroup. You shot, old man, huh? I'm grouped just fine. And y'all look hot in the motherfucking them suits. The platform, let's go. Holy Jesus. They're all over us! No, they're not. You getting off on this little man? That ain't even fair! This way, through the warehouse! Stay behind me, kid. I got the armor. I should have worn a suit, man. Uh, go away! How many dudes they got in this private army? Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. I'll be cool when we out of this. We punch through, we get clear. Come on. Come on, you assholes. You holding on, F? I'm cool, just keep going. Who else will be fucking this up? Duck to do a chicken factory to get away from you. I didn't see it. Come on. Yeah. How you doing? I need cover. I'm fine. Let's keep moving. There's a ground team on the way to the factory. I might be able to get the drop on them. All right, you do what you can do, Chef. I'm glad you got hired for the job. There's some guys trying to get in here. Chef's holding them off. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. The platform. Let's go. I think they think there's more than one of me. Okay. Hey, slip out of town and call Lester for instructions. I got news. You're wasting the Trevor Phillips ink, my friend. Chef caught us a break, people. Let's get our train. Last call. Could be our only way out of here. Here we go. Right here. Get on.
Let's go. Yo, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, it's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Catch your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Right. Come on. Serious? Heist passed. Now, what's the score? Uh, let's see. The take was 8 million, and it looks like my score just came in. Which is above 400,000. Now, that is a good amount of money. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see ya. Bye.